get out. Dr. Martinez, you gotta have him removed. Tonight we have new video that gives more insight into the student body president at Fresno City College. He was arrested yesterday and is accused of rape. The school says that 25-year-old Christopher Washington was found in a locked bathroom stall Monday night with two other students. He is now facing two felony charges, including rape. CBS 47's Connie Tran joins us live in the control room with more on this one. Connie. Ken, we found that Christopher Washington had legal troubles even before Monday night's incident. According to the Fresno County District Attorney's Office, he pled to a 2016 charge of child abuse. Next week, he's expected to be in court for that case. He's expected to be sentenced. Dr. Martinez, you gotta have him removed. Because you keep, you, you, you're in my purview and you're giving me threatening looks and you're, you, you just have an attacking vibe right now. Video from Christopher Washington's time as Fresno City College student body president shows turmoil and contention. Go ahead. I'm not saying anything, I'm just sitting here listening. No, you're not. Not like, you know. Go ahead. Go. Larry Valenzuela is a writer for the school's newspaper, The Rampage. He's covered all the student council meetings. You know, nothing was up to code. They were doing closed session meetings that weren't exactly up to code as well. The Rampage gave us video of Washington getting into a verbal altercation with the student body vice president. Are you the president? No, but I represent ASG and I'm to represent it honestly and completely including our policies. And I'm not going to argue with you during my interview. Okay. Do you have any other questions for me? Rampage editor-in-chief Tommy Tribble says the tape illustrates friction between Washington and fellow student legislators. I think it betrayed a kind of a lack of decorum. But both Tribble and Valenzuela say they could have never imagined that Washington would get arrested for alleged rape. Even hearing allegations itself is just, you know, it's mind-blowing. According to the statement from the college, school police officers were called Monday evening because three people were in a locked restroom stall, reportedly engaging in what the school described as sexual misconduct. The alleged misconduct was reportedly serious enough to lead to a rape and other charges against Washington. Everyone involved is a current student and all three were said to be intoxicated. Tribble says they will continue to cover the news as difficult as it may be. All three involved in the incident have been banned from campus. Washington still remains in jail tonight on a $126,000 bail. That is the latest I have for you live in the control room. Ken, back to you.